Hello. How are you doing? My name is Ray Lerntfeldt. I'm the Director of Engineering at Ignis Innovation. And what I'm going to talk about today is our automated optical inspection system, which is used for compensation on OLED panels. This system can do compensation on both aged panels or new panels. And what we call the compensation for a new panel is T0 compensation. This system is manufactured and built here at Ignis and is optimized for a very easy inspection process. So let me take a cell phone. In this case, it's a Pixel 2. Um, if you look at the Pixel 2, you can see that we have aged squares on the phone. And what we will do is run this system and show the compensation for these age squares on the phone. Take the phone, plug it into the system, hooking up the USB connector, place it in the hold guide, lock the phone into place, close the drawer, and hit compensate. The system will now run through the compensation process and, and we have in the selector for a new phone. Um, this overall process will take about 90 seconds or roughly 90 to 100 seconds and it does a full compensation of red, green and blue. As you can see we have a bar indicator that shows the progress as we're going through the compensation process. Along with that is a time indicator that shows the amount of time that it actually takes to run on the phone. We have various settings inside of the system. Some of those settings, settings allow us to do individual red, green, and blue. Um, very uh, good feature to have when you want to do some experimentation or do some setup and only look at one primary color at a time. And in that case, the compensation time is reduced by about a third. Um, as we run through this, uh, a few other things. The system has a touch screen. We have verification menus, which I'll show you later, where we can actually go back and validate that the phone has been corrected and the compensation has been done on it. Ignis has been working on compensation algorithms for roughly uh, 20 years, so we have a lot of expertise in this field, and we believe we do some of the best compensation that you'll ever find. That's why we've created this system, which is in fact a portable system. Um, it's roughly uh, two feet by three feet, or that would be 600 millimeters by 800 millimeters, roughly in size. And uh, is not quite very heavy. It runs with a camera and the built-in processor to do the compensation. So here we are, we're at a minute 44, which says we're 104 seconds. It's completed the compensation. We pull the panel out now and we can run into the verification mode or we could put another panel in and all the compensation data would be loaded automatically into the panel. Going to the verification mode, we can now select a gray level. So let's go up to what we're gonna call roughly 649 as the gray level. We push that gray level to the phone and what we'll see is the uncompensated image on the phone. Going over here we push compensation on and the end result is our compensation algorithm is now kicked into gear on the phone and we can no longer see the aging squares that are on the phone. If we would like to look at just an individual color at a time we would select green and now we have green and it shows the compensation for green. If we lower down the value to say 262 gray levels. Now I'm using a 10-bit number for gray levels. It works just as well if we're using 8-bit. We push the 262 to the phone and again we can see the compensation on the phone um, and the corrections that are in place. If we turn compensation off, now you can see the squares that were actually there at that gray level. A um, few other features in there, we can automatically select certain gray levels, turn on the compensation, and again, you'll see that the squares disappear. In this case, I'll just select red and push it through, and now we can see the compensation for red alone. If we go back, we go back into the main menu, 
and we can select what type of phone or what type of compensation we want to run. In the case we ran what, what is called new compensation, so that would be used for a new panel. It's the shortest amount of time. We can flip it over and we can run aged. Where panels have more aging on them, our algorithm then tends to do the compensation for a well-aged panel. Or we can extre select extreme, which is an extremely aged panel, typically a panel that's at its end of life. I would like to thank you for looking at this demo, and if you have any questions, please contact us at Ignis Innovation. Thank you very much.